Welcome to another episode of DSC at Homes Powering the Future. My name is Sabah and today we'll be looking into wind energy. What is wind energy? Wind energy is a different type of energy from the traditional energy sources like coal, oil and natural gas. Wind energy is a renewable energy source. What does renewable energy mean? Renewable energy is a limitless energy source present in nature. Some other examples of renewable energy sources include the sun, water and inner heat from the earth. These energy sources are naturally replenished, meaning that they get replaced by nature and that's why they never run out. Winds can be used to generate electricity through a machine called a wind turbine. Where have you seen a wind turbine? Wind turbines are tall towers with blades on top. Often you find them clustered together on wind farms. Wind farms contain hundreds of wind turbines and they have been built onshore on land or offshore in the sea. UK's largest onshore wind farm is called Whiteley Wind Farm. Whiteley Wind Farm is only 20 minutes from central Glasgow. It has 215 wind turbines and can generate enough electricity to power just under 300,000 homes a year. How does a wind turbine work? Movement energy or kinetic energy from the wind causes the blades at the top to spin. The spinning blades then turn a long metal tube called a shaft. The turning shaft transfers the kinetic energy to a machine called a generator. The generator then transfers the kinetic energy to electricity. This electricity is then delivered to our homes and streets. We can use this energy for so many different things like lighting our homes, watching our favourite TV shows and even making a refreshing, delicious smoothie. Have a look around your house. What can you see that may need electricity to work? Today, we will be making our very own wind turbines. For this, you're going to need glue tack, glue, a toilet roll or kitchen roll tube, paper, scissors, coloured pens, pencils or paints, a toothpick and adult supervision. To build a wind turbine, you need to first build the tower. For our tower today, we'll be using a toilet roll tube. But you can also do this with a kitchen roll tube or even a paper cup. First, we need to decorate our tower. To do this, I'm going to use coloured pens. I'm going to use a blue pen to colour around my tube. But you can do this any way you'd like and have a lot of fun and be super creative doing this. So I'm going to start by colouring in my tube. Now that we've decorated our tower, I'm going to put it to the side and next we need to make some blades. To do this, we need the help of an adult. With an adult's help, we'll cut out triangular shapes for the blades. I'm going to use a pencil to draw three small blades and a small circle as well. I'm just going to go ahead and draw my three blades. They don't have to be identical, just have fun and see what you come up with and also a small circle. So, with an adult's help, we need to cut out these shapes. Again, with the help of an adult, we need to glue our three blades together. So really carefully, I'm actually going to put a piece of paper down so the glue doesn't get on the table. I'm gonna lay out my three blades in a triangular shape. So sort of like this. This is how we want to glue them together. One, two, three. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue the first two together. Just use a little bit of glue. Any type of glue that you have at hand. Put them together. And now for the last one, glue that on together as well. So, it should look a little bit like this. And now we need 
need to put our circle on as well. So just to cover up all the blades that are joining together, I'm going to glue the circle right on the centre, like this. So again, with the help of an adult, glue your circle onto the blades. There we have it. Now we need to let this dry. Now that the glue has dried, we need to decorate our blades. To do this, I'm going to use coloured pencils, but again, you can be super creative and use whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and start decorating my blades. Have a lot of fun. Use as many colours or as little colours as you'd like. And just decorate. Now that we've decorated our blades, we need to attach them to the tower. In order to do this, you need blue tack, a toothpick, and again, the help of an adult. So for this part, have your adult place blue tack on the back of your blades, right in the center, like this. Now, using your toothpick, pierce a hole. So very carefully, pierce a hole right through. Let's remove the blue tack and the toothpick. We need to pierce a hole on our tower as well. So right near the top, I'm going to place the blue tack inside. Just very carefully, hold it in place. Now your adult again needs to pierce a hole near the top of your tube. Just very carefully, just pierce it right through. This time, leave the blue tack at the end of the toothpick and push your toothpick in. And have it stick to the back. So, like this. Now that we have our toothpick in place, we need to go back to the blades. This time, using a sharp pencil and the help of an adult again, we need to push the pencil through the hole that we made earlier on and make it bigger. So pushing the pencil through, just make the hole a little bit bigger. There you go. Now, what we need to do is put the blades through the toothpick. And now grab a marker and make a mark on your toothpick about an inch or so away from the blades. There you go. So now what we're going to do is take out our blades and very carefully, with the help of an adult, cut the toothpick to that size. So you need to be really careful. Now we're going to put the blades back on and some blue tack to secure it. There you have it, your very own colourful wind turbine. If we imagine my finger is a wind, as it hits the blades, it causes the blades to spin. That's because wind energy is getting transferred to kinetic or movement energy. Thanks for tuning in to GSC at home. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and we'll do our very best to answer them. If you make your own wind turbine at home, please take pictures and share them with us on our social media. Why not try making different shapes for the blades and see what happens? Also, how do you think you can make your wind turbine spin faster? Let us know how you get along. See you next time.